Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Fullerton. Today we're going to start talking about modern physics. And modern physics really refers to advancement in physics from about the 1900s on. So modern is a relative term. But it deals with the extremes of the very small, the very large, the very slow, and the very fast. So usually it has to do with things we don't get a very good picture of in everyday life. Topics such as models of the atom and subatomic structure, conservation laws, mass energy equivalents, the dual nature of electromagnetic radiation, and even the quantum nature of atomic energy levels. Bunches of different topics in modern physics, and we're only going to touch but the very top of the iceberg. So let's dive in today as we talk about the wave-particle duality, or the dual nature of electromagnetic radiation. Our objectives are going to be explaining the wave-particle duality of light, at least at a very superficial or very high level, and provide evidence that electromagnetic radiation has both a wave nature and a particle nature. Electromagnetic waves exhibit characteristics of both waves and particles. Things like light is both a wave and a particle, and depending on the situation, it acts more like a wave or more like a particle. We have evidence that it's a wave because it refracts like a wave, it diffracts like a wave, it can interfere with itself like a wave, you can detect the Doppler effect in light, a wave characteristic, and Young's double slit experiment, which we talked about previously, showing interference. On the other hand, there's particle evidence, evidence that light also behaves like a particle. The black body radiation effect, the Compton effect, and the one we're going to deal mostly in, with in this course, the photoelectric effect, for which Einstein won a Nobel Prize. Now, particles of electromagnetic radiation, when we talk about it as a particle, we call those particles of electromagnetic radiation photons. So sample question one, light demonstrates the characteristics of particles only, waves only, both particles and waves, or neither particles nor waves. Well, the wave-particle duality is all about the fact that light demonstrates characteristics of both particles and waves. And depending on the situation, it may display more or less of one of those natures, the wave or the particle. So correct answer, three. Which phenomenon provides evidence that light has a wave nature? The emission of light from an energy level transition in the hydrogen atom? Well, no, that doesn't really help us. Diffraction of light passing through a narrow opening? Ooh, diffraction, that's a wave characteristic. Therefore, I would say that's pretty good evidence that light is a wave nature. The absorption of light by a black sheet of paper? Well, that doesn't really prove to me that light is a wave. Or the reflection of light from a mirror? Yes, reflection is a wave characteristic, but it's also a particle characteristic. For example, think of a beam of light, a wave, bouncing off a mirror, behaves like a wave, but you could also take a tennis ball and bounce it off a mirror too, and it'll come off with the same angle it went in at. It'll obey the law of reflection as well. So reflection is not purely a wave characteristic. So our best answer here must be two. Diffraction is purely a wave characteristic. So just a very, very quick look at the wave particle nature of electromagnetic radiation. For more information, check out aplusphysics.com. Thanks and make it a great day.